Hello and thank you for watching another episode of Lewis the Tech Guy. In today's video, we're going to discuss this nice little cool button, how you can make it in your application. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. Let's get started. I'm going to refresh this so you can see that I got rid of this. All right, cool. So um, let's get rid of all this stuff right here that we don't need. We don't need that. We don't need this. Oh, what a beautiful day today it is. All right, so I'm gonna start off with a flat button. I'm sure everyone's familiar with a flat button. And in this flat button, just so we can get it on the screen, I'm going to give it on press so it's not angry with me. And then I'm gonna give a child of text just so we can see what's in there. And it's gonna say, I am a button. And so I'm gonna hot reload that, go back to my, uh, simulator and and there it is it's got a nice little flat button little action there a little clicky clicky um not doing anything at the moment all right so the problem with a flat button is that or in you know instance that we want to make it the way we want it is that it doesn't have uh certain options that we want so it does have a shape and it does have a color which is nice so we can give it some color colors that orange for example and then we can hot reload that bring it back up and now it's orange. We can even give it a splash color, which is nice. I really like using the splash color uh, because it, it does a nice little cool effect once we uh, click on our button. So you see it does a little color change there. But what I want is I want some nice uh, rounded edges and I also want that gradient look that we had. So what I really like is the gradient look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this flat button and we're gonna wrap it in a container. And then in our container, we're gonna give it a decoration property and we're gonna call the box decoration. And what we're going to do is we're going to call the gradient property. And the gradient property I believe is looking for a linear gradient. We're gonna comp that out. And then we're gonna give it some colors. So the colors are gonna be a list of colors and it's going to be colors that, uh, let's say pink and colors that orange and we'll hot reload this. And if we get back to our app, there you go. We have our nice little thing. And the next thing we also wanna do is we wanna give it some nice round edges, right? Cause this square is kind of hard to, to uh, to look at there so what do we want to do we want to call border radius and then we want to give it the border radius and i've only done this a million times you would think by now let's do 30. i reload that and voila it is beautiful now you're going to want to reuse this a few times right so what you want to do is you want to come over here to your little outline tool you could do select find the widget which is our container for now and we're going to extract this widget and we're going to call it um cool button there we go and hit refactor and there we have our cool button now the properties we want to give it is colors and let's see so we're going to make some properties here so let's say final color uh dash color one and then we're going to say final color Color two. I mean, we could have just made a list, but we'll talk about that later. And then we're gonna add the parameters: color one, color two, and we're also gonna add some text to final string text because we want this to say uh, whatever the text is in there. And in here, we'll have color one. So that way, we can reuse this code whenever we want. We don't have to be tied to, and it'll be real easy to make our buttons. So color one, color two, come over here, add the text property. Is there anything else I'm missing? I'm sure I'll think about it in a second. All right, let's close this up so we have some more space to look at. Okay, so now I should be getting an error. I'm gonna get rid of this. I guess we're not gonna use the key properties. Here we go. So now I should be, where is my button here? My cool button. I should be getting an error, but we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens when I run it. 
There you go. You got a nice little error there. So it wants color. So color one. We're gonna say colors that uh, orange, and then color two, colors that. Let's do pink this time, and then the text will be uh, hello world. Oop. And if I have reload that, beautiful, it's there. So the nice thing about that is now I can just say cool button, bring in the color, color one, colors that pink, and colors, color, oh, that did color too, colors that orange, and then text, and second button. All right. So now I have two buttons there and I could put a, you know, a little spacer there or padding or whatever I want to do there. Uh, so if you really want to get creative with this, you can make a list of string or a list of colors and put that in here instead of that. Um, but yeah, so it kind of gives you an idea of how to play around with it, how you can add some cool effects to your application using this little gradient feature. Uh, so it is, it is nice um, just to kind of show you, well, Let's do this. What I'll do is just to not go deep into the code. I'll just add manually. You shouldn't do this like this, but I'll just add manually another color here just so you can see that you can keep going. And there you go. The other, uh, cool property I don't talk enough about is the start and end. You can do a, a beginning. And so it wants an access axis. I think it is. Um, No, oh, where am I? What am I doing wrong? Yeah, oh, alignment, sorry. So it wants an alignment. So alignment, dot, top right, bottom left. So you decide where it be starts and where it ends. So if you want alignment, dot, bottom left. So you kind of want that action. You could do that as well. And then you can set that as your properties. So it would go from top right to lower left. And then you can switch it if you wanted to gives you some control over the colors. Um, all right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the lecture for today, the tutorial. If you did, please subscribe. Let me, let me know if there's anything I could show to help. Uh, have a great day.